This is a clip from one of our most recent episodes. For full episodes and more, please check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Stitcher, and YourVibesPodcast.com. This episode is sponsored by Tia Armstrong with Property Place Solutions brokered by EXP. Tia is a local real estate agent who prides herself in being a value add in all her clients' real estate transactions. Whether it's an investment property or your next home, you can rely on Tia to help you with whatever you need. Check her out on her socials at Tia Armstrong or give her a call at 615-497-5336. Work from um, home and I know that where this conversation is probably going to lead. You're leading right into it. I'm just, just going to tiptoe it backwards <laughs> into uh, our next topic, I'm sure, because my role at Dixon Electric is... Uh, well, it's yeah. Min- I, I know you work there, but I don't know what you do. Oh, what's Mi- your- it's a many hats. So, okay. uh, technically, my title is the assistant to the general manager. Um, so this is assistant- hold on, wait, stop, <laughs> like, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, stop. <laughs> hold on. This isn't like a Dwight Schrute. Yes, of- <laughs> like the office. So the assistant to the regional manager, and. I love The Office and need Peacock to go away so that we can have The Office back on Netflix because that was like my like palate cleanser and like my safe space during a lot of my life. The Office, you guys, if you don't watch The Office, just like stop being like, you know, so not sus. Don't like be sus. ignorant, yeah. not ignorant, but like you're just actively trying to avoid Something that's going to make you joy. so happy. Oh, my God. God, it's so good. Michael Scott is my, like... He's so funny. He is my spirit animal <laughs> in, like... I mean, more problematic and sure. certainly more offensive <laughs> in a lot of ways. <laughs> but, like, no filter and just, like, the childlike enthusiasm. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I, I am more of a Michael Scott than a Dwight Schrute. Michael Scott meets Aaron, the receptionist, when she came in, you know, Um, that's more of me. Uh, (laughs) Or if you're more of, um, oh, my gosh, what's the other one? The Office and then 30 Rock. 30 Rock. If you watch 30 Rock, Kenneth, my friends in college identified the fact that I am Kenneth and he is so great. He, I remember one episode, they do like a CAT scan. They do some sort of scan on his heart or his brain or something. And it is literally like there's, I think there's clogging involved. There's like rainbows and butterflies and sunshine. And like, uh, he just has, he's the best. So that is my vibe. (laughs) But um, at Dixon Electric, I do wear a lot of hats. I do the marketing and communication. So I handle all of our social media, our website, um, customer experience related things such as like when we redesigned our electric bill or uh, our c- like any kind of communications that customers get in any form. Uh, I handle that and uh, then internal communications as well, which if you think about the year 2020 and the, the pandemic, my very like demanding and like always something to do job became unbelievably cumbersome. I have never put so many words onto paper in the form of memorandums of, of uh, to all employees about changes in procedures, policies, uh, sick leave, um, law, and then externally the lobby closures, the uh, any kind of how to do business. We're an essential, like electricity is mm-hmm. obviously an essential service, and uh, we're the most essential, obviously. So <laughs> it, you know, it didn't put a hold on any of the other things, like when we got hit with a storm. Um, it, and you know, had out widespread outages. We still had to do all of that stuff and all of like the personnel type of stuff. But on top of everything, to have this like heaviness of like, how do we protect the public? How do we protect our customers, our employees? Also protect the company uh, from an employer perspective. It was, it was a challenge. Um, and I know like it was nothing compared to what the healthcare industry went through and um 
you know, the school systems, I remember just being like, almost, I couldn't let myself think about like the people who were having to make decisions about, about schools and kids. It was just really hard. Thanks again to Tia Armstrong with Property Place Solutions, brokered by EXP, for sponsoring this episode. Be sure to reach out to her on her socials at Tia Armstrong or give her a call at 615-497-5336. If you're interested in sponsoring an episode, please reach out to me directly via email at yourvibespodcast at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening, and always remember, stay vibey, my friends.